Hey everyone, you're watching Adventure Toys, and today I'm showing off my entire Zootopia toy collection! So today in Adventure Toys, we have my whole Zootopia toy collection. So this is really, really cool. Over the past few days, I've been unboxing all of these toys and reviewing them and showing them off and showing what they can do, and now I have them all together in one spot. I saw Zootopia back when it first came out in theaters and it was just such an awesome movie. It was really, really funny, really cute because of all the different kind of animals and stuff. It was just a really cool movie. Now these Zootopia toys, I was very impressed with them because they're built so well. As you've probably seen in the other videos I've done, they can move a lot. Like look at this. His arms can move in like every direction. Up and down like this. His head can turn all the way around. His legs can move. And even his tail can spin around. So most of the toys can move this way except for like the really small guys like this. So I'm just going to go around and introduce each toy. So first off in the front we have Judy Hopps in her awesome police uniform. Next to Nick Wilde the fox. Very awesome. Then over here we have this little lemming businessman. Very cute. He has a really awesome suit and a purple tie. Then we have Clawhauser the cheetah back here. He's really cool. We have a bat eyewitness. This bat eyewitness I don't remember seeing in the movie, but maybe I just missed that part. Then we have Finnick here. I absolutely love Finnick. He's just such a cool looking character. Really, really cool. Back here we have Weaselton with his bag of stolen onions. Then we have a little parking meter accessory. This is pretty cool. One side it's red, the other side it's green. So you can use it to just kind of play around with this Judy hops with her meter maid outfit here with her pursuit vehicle. Very cool. This vehicle also comes with these awesome pylons. Then we have Nick's red convertible. Very, very cool. We have May Bellwether, the assistant mayor. We have another version of Nick. It actually looks different than this one. He's wearing a different colored shirt and a different color tie. So that's pretty cool that they kind of switch things up there. Then we have Mayor Lionheart. Very cool. We have another version of Judy Hopps. It's actually the same as this one. It's just, it's an extra version that comes with her amazing police cruiser here. This is probably my favorite one. Then we have Officer McHorn, who I really like as well. He's really cool looking. He comes with a safety squirrel. <laughs> really cute little guy. Then we have Kevin here, the polar bear, with Mr. Big. Very cool. Mr. Big is sweet. He has this awesome tuxedo on. And we have this little mouse burglar that comes with Judy and her police cruiser. So out of all of these Zootopia toys, which one is your favorite? It's really hard for me to choose a favorite because they're all really, really cool. But if I had to choose a favorite between the vehicles, I would definitely choose this police cruiser because it's just really cool. And when you move the wheels, the lights flick on and off, which is sweet. I think out of maybe some of these bigger characters, like let's say, you know, Lionheart, Kevin, and... Officer McHorn here. I think I like Officer McHorn the best. He's just awesome. I mean, look at this guy. He's so cool. He's just this big, powerful rhino. Look how big that horn is. So awesome. Oops. <laughs> very, very cool. I love this one. That's probably my favorite of like these bigger characters. Like I said before, I also really, really like Finnick. He's just such a cool looking character. He just looks super cute with his huge ears and his big head. Very awesome. I love this one. But yeah, if I had to choose just one as my all-time favorite, I don't know which one I would choose. I have no idea. I don't know if I could pick. It would maybe be Officer McHorn because he's just awesome. Now what's really cool is that once you collect all of the toys, I mean look at this, you have this whole cast of characters that you can use so you can have lots of things to play with and what's cool is that when you get all the vehicles you can kind of put different characters in the vehicles right so let's actually take a look at that now okay so i moved all of the characters to the side here and let's take a look at this meter made vehicle so originally we have judy hops that comes with this vehicle so the driver's seat is actually on this side here and she just sits in just like that so it's very cool. So now if you notice, all of the vehicles have space in the back of the seat for tails. So Judy doesn't need that space because she just has a little button tail like that. 
but it makes it really cool and accessible for Nick Wilde, for example. So when Nick sits in there, his tail has space. See that? It actually kind of knocks over the pylons, so you can't really have the pylons in there if you have characters with tails driving, but that's kind of what it looks like there. So it's pretty cool. So let's, let's see who else can fit in here. We can see if we can maybe fit Finnick in there. Now Finnick is different, he can't really move his legs, so he kind of just would stand in it like this. <laughs> Technically he can't even reach the steering wheel, so I don't even know how he would drive. But that looks really cool, I like that. Let's see, who else can we fit in here? I don't think a lot of these bigger characters can fit. Unfortunately they're a little too big, they can, I don't think they can fit in any of the vehicles to be honest. But let's see. Let's see if uh, Lionheart can get in here. Uh, not really. It's hard to get him in and have his legs actually fit under there. With his tail and stuff. Yeah, he can't really fit in there. So I don't think any of the bigger characters can really fit in the vehicles. Um, you know, even, even Mayweather here. She's pretty tall and she can't move her legs, so she can't really like sit. But she can kind of, like Finnick, she can kind of stand right in front of the wheel here. Like that. So that's kind of cool. Let's check out one of the other vehicles here. Let's see Nick's convertible. Now Nick's convertible, I think more people can fit in here because it doesn't have a roof. Right? So if anything, they can kind of just like you know, for example, Lionheart here. He can kind of just sit in it like that. It looks kind of a little silly, but it works. He could totally drive that. He's rocking, rocking the convertible. That's pretty cool. I don't know if uh, Officer McHorn can fit in there. He's a lot bigger. He might have to just like... <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that looks awesome. That's pretty big. That works. That works. It's pretty cool. But yeah, this convertible was originally meant for Nick. He can fit in no problem. And like I said, you can see in here, there's the slots in the chairs for their tails. Which is awesome. There you go. He's rocking his convertible. With the wind at his fur. So free. <laughs> Judy Hops can probably fit in there, no problem, too. Let's see what that looks like. That's awesome. Judy is the easiest to fit into the vehicles because she doesn't have a tail that has to go through that slot, and she just pops in. It's great. Of course, all these little characters can probably fit in, no problem. We got Mr. Big there, the safety squirrel, this little mouse robber. The Bat Eyewitness. They could all take a road trip in this thing. Here, Bat Eyewitness can drive, even though bats are blind, kind of. <laughs> There's the mouse. There is the safety squirrel. And Mr. Big can ride on the roof, because he is the boss. Oh, he fell off. Maybe that's a bad idea. There we go. <laughs> that's pretty cool. We got a little critter road trip here. Ready to hit the town. Very awesome. So now let's see this awesome police cruiser. This is my favorite, like I said before. Definitely the coolest vehicle. If you're only gonna get one, I would get this one. Check it out. That is sweet. So this is really big. Even though it's really big though, it's still hard to get some of these bigger characters in, right? Like let's even, let's try uh, Kevin here. I don't think he can actually sit in the seat. No, he can't really fit in there. That kind of sucks. I wish they made this like a little bit bigger just to hold these bigger characters to make them like truly versatile. They can kind of stand like this though if you keep the top up, right? That's not bad. That's kind of cool. So what's cool about this vehicle too is that it's got this like jail cell, right? Now this jail can only fit certain characters too. Like none of these big characters would be able to fit in there, but you know, Bellwether can go in there. 
she's being a jerk. She's going to jail. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Nick can fit in there, no problem. Or actually, maybe not, because his tail is really big. It might get in the way. Maybe you have to, like... I don't know. <laughs> actually, he might be hard to get in there. He's got this big, bushy tail. Kind of gets in the way. Let's see Clawhauser in here. That'd be hilarious. I don't even think he can get in, too, because he's got this big tail, this big, long tail. Nope. <laughs> Pretty cool. But yeah, so that's the vehicle that I really like there. So, you're watching Adventure Toys. That's my video kind of showing a little bit of my Zootopia collection here. If you want to see me go more in depth on each and every one of these toys, then definitely click on this link in the top right corner and that'll take you to my Zootopia toy playlist. So if you like this video, press the like button. Also, if you really like Zootopia, definitely press the subscribe button. If I ever bring out a new Zootopia video, you'll get to see it right away. So you're watching Adventure Toys. See you later. Thank you.